Alrighty. Howdy neighbors and welcome back to Dung and Rumpa. Trigger Happy Havoc. We escaped from the trash. We met with Monokuma. We agreed to let us have a retrial. But we have to solve everything about the school and about the Mooper Row. Put big ol' air quotes. Well, he only has to sit there and look pretty. So that sucks. Anyway, we're about to tell everyone else right now. Makoto, there's no time to indulge in an extended happy reunion. You need to explain to everyone what happened with Monkuma. Yes. Explain? Explain what? Hmm. But is it okay that you're here? What if the mastermind catches you? It's true. That's related to what I want to tell you all. I tell you all about the last class trial. Huh? The last class trial? In other words... We are going to redo McGraw's trial. Huh? Wait, seriously? How about that? What's the point of redoing it? Makoto killed her, right? Shut up. Shut up. No, I didn't do it. Like I keep telling you. Wrong. Makoto isn't the killer. And of course it's not me or any of you. Huh? <laughs> then... Who was it? I see. What she's saying is, it was all the work of the Mastermind. Huh? What? Are you saying the Mastermind can grow? That's right. It was all an elaborate trap contrived by the Mastermind. I thought it was part of the trap in time. They did what he had to do to stop it. However... But his decision meant that he would be the one to be killed. What? What did you say? You spotted the trap, did you, Makoto? Makes it like it was easy. It's just, you know. However, but I skewed Makoto, who wasn't the blackened. The clear violation of school regulations. The rule state that only the blackened is to be executed. The mastermind broke their own rules. <laughs> Which is why I went and negotiated with them. I have the trial one more time. Huh? And the mastermind agreed? That means we. They really did break the rules? Hmm. They had no choice but to agree. You used the TV broadcast to pin the leverage you needed, didn't you? Correct. I observed of you. Naturally. I recall that you said it was the end of the... I recall what you said at the end of the last trial. You said now is the mastermind that's ensnared. That's what you were referring to. Don't be mean! Hey, I'm totally in the dark here. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko to explain it again. Later. <laughs> so now with all this, what do we do now? About that. It's about who killed Mikuro, right? So our job is to expose the mastermind? Hmm. But there's more to it than that, correct? Yeah. Just to win this time, we need to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Huh? Every last one? But... Oh, poor Yasuhiro. I don't think he's gonna make it. But we've been looking around all this time, and we still know anything, right? Anyway... We've probably guessed already. If we lose this time, everyone dies. Oh no! What a mood, as a hero! <laughs> everyone! I hate you! Hey, you said you could agree to the terms. I'm talking to the rest of us. Yeah! I'm fine. The, the things, the way they are. I'm fine. We'll be forever with the master. I, meanwhile, want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyway. At this point, the only way for us to survive is to unravel the truth. Hmm. Interesting. In other words, one decides to final battle. Another interesting development, I'd say. But... At figuring out who the mastermind is, and how they killed Mukuro, and all the school's mysteries. <sighs> it's pretty tough, freaking order. You're the tallest one here, get to it. Maybe. But this time the trial is different. We know who our enemy is now. If we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we'll solve all the mysteries. I'm not sure about that. Oh. Huh? I... I cannot agree with the idea of working together with anyone. 
I can't agree, and why not? I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all the mysteries. Indeed. That's what I thought too at first. Monokuma gave us that little hint of his. <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know. Okay, enough with the puns. Okay, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing game began with 16 participants, all of them high school students. And the only people to take a single step in hope speak since the killing game began are those 16 students. I see. Monokuma said that, did he? And Kyoko's opinion opinion is perfectly reasonable. Huh? Hmm? Well, uh, why? So in other words. If the mastermind really is the one who killed Mukuro, as Kyoko says. And the ma the mastermind would have had to set foot in the school, right? Monokuma. Prob oh, could probably murder Mukuro, but there's no way he could have disguised a scene like that. In other words... But according to Monokuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been taking part in the killing game. <laughs> and the mastermind is... I'm still betting money it's Junko. There were... Fifteen of us in the main hall. The very beginning. It's so weird to see everyone again. And there are so many people. Everyone that's still alive is pretty evenly spaced though, so that's cool. Man. I miss Kiyotaka, and I miss Mondo. I am Murukuro, and you've got 16! I got me and last one. One of them? That's right. And of those 16 people we started out with, there was still alive. The people standing right here. Did I continue, or do you get it now? What? Are you saying the mastermind is one of us? No way! You can't be serious! Wait. I can't say for sure that's true yet. Monokuma might have just said all that to confuse us. Indeed. It's really a possibility. But only one among many. So that's why being one of us is also a possibility. And that is one possibility we cannot ignore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're an ultimate, right? No, to despair. Then you must be a high schooler. Mm -hmm. I can't say it's not possible. The one of us was the mastermind. They have to be controlling Monokuma somehow, right? Did you ever see anyone act suspicious anytime Monokuma was active? Oh, wow! Did they sneak up in the children and But I don't care how sneaky you are. You would have noticed I was sneaking off that many times. I'm right, right? The main Monokuma is an autopilot. Maybe they loaded up all the dialogue and actions beforehand. In that case, there's no way he could have had all those back and forth conversations with us. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be entirely impossible. They directed the flow of the conversation. Well, maybe, but still. Ding dong, bing bong. Ah, uh, this is a school announcement. You've all probably figured this out by now, but at this point, the killing game has now entered true ending mode. So, in the name of fairness, I will unlock every room in the school. Thank you, our gracious host. Look wherever you want. Solve the mystery in whatever way you see fit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? Okay.
How very magnanimous of him to unlock all the rooms. That's fine. Time for talk is done. Now we need to begin our investigation. But <laughs> I was planning on working alone from the beginning anyway. In the name of my family. At this point, I can rely only on myself. On the Togami blood flowing through my veins. I hope, I hope, for the sake of, of me and my hatred for this, for these pixels, that his name just got run through the dirt. <laughs> it means Jack. <laughs> oh, that'd be so bad. Hm. I have no time to worry about the rest of you. If you must uphold your responsibility. Goodbye. Well then. After making his final statement, Byakuya left for the dining hall. <laughs> Master! He didn't say you with him! Hey! Do you blame him? <laughs> now, Master, the rest of you are like. coffee with cream. Without the cream! Or coffee. There was nothing like that. <laughs> You're totally useless! Goodbye. But that took her charge out of the dining hall. Uh, and now she's gone. And you're gonna go up by yourself, right, Kyoko? Indeed. That's right. Hmm. Which just leaves Makoto, Hina, and me. You know? In that case, I'm gonna go by myself, too. <laughs> just a second. Wait, how come? How about that? Just wait and see. I'm gonna use my totally awesome spirit power to figure out the mastermind's identity. <laughs> Freaking idiot. Okay. Nothing lovely. Go left the dining hall. He will be doing nothing. Mm. Everyone really going off by themselves? Where are you, Hina? Mm. Mm. I guess we'll do the same thing, but. I mean, it's not like I don't trust anyone, you know? Because, I mean... Up till now, I... haven't really been all that useful. I just depend on Sakura and everyone else. You're not useless. If I have been there, I would have died. Huh? Dakota? <laughs> mm, that's what this video is saying. But... Still, I know I've mostly been totally useless. Okay. But I figure... At least here at the end, maybe I can find something that'll help us all get out of here. I'm gonna go off and do it all on my own. <laughs> okay, see you later. No was in surprisingly high spirits as she dashed out of the dining hall. Once again, it's just us two. Indeed. So, you're gonna go off on your own too, right, Kyoko? However... Well, don't misunderstand. Just because we're going to do our searches separately, doesn't mean we can't still work together. So... But it goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. We're investigating. It doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. It's just data as a splitting up to cover more ground. And then we can get back together and show what we found. Yeah, that's right. So then. Well, I better get going. I have an endless list of things I need to check. Correct. When I said all the doors in the school had been unlocked, right? We'd be able to investigate every nook and cranny of the school. We could visit all the places we couldn't go before. Makoto. No matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth. By any means necessary. With that, Kyoko was gone. With only me. Not time to waste either. I have to begin my search. I believe the mastermind might be one of us. So that's what I have to prove. I'll prove that the mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the mastermind's true identity and solve the mystery of this school. So we can all skip together. Up by taking another look at Mukuro's monochrome file. With the explosion, the victim's thing is unknown. They were, however, dead for the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with the knife, which went completely through the body. It also struck in the head with an object, but it took its metal pipe. The body was covered in other wounds. Those were only seven days old. We find out who killed Mukuro and Kusaba. We will know who the mastermind is. I wish I'd start my investigation to figure out who killed her. I'm sure with the rooms that were locked up till now. There must room, bio lab, door at the data center with Monica's face on it. Second floor of dorms, but the gate was down before. It should be open now, right? 
I can never have to double check the areas that were connected to the murder. Here's the garden and the dojo. Alright, time to get started. Nice! This is to check and then add it to the usual section of the handbook. I was just gonna start on the top floor and work my way down. But I totally forgot about over here. So I'll start at the ground floor and work my way up. Where is it? Over here! Gates open. I found check out the second floor of the dorms. Which means... I have to do it. This is the second floor of the dorms? It's like ancient ruins. It's like the battlefield. It's like a bomb blew up here or something. I can see why there are no cameras in here. Good lord. I want... Hey. Yeah, we can't see outside? Come on. Um... May I enter? No? Okay. May, may I? No? Okay. How, how about- how about you guys? We can go in here. I- I enjoy all the holes in the wall. Open the door, it's cracked to the side, and immediately close it again. Not even hint of a restroom, just a big pile of rubble. They're completely torn apart. I mean, it's not even a bed anymore, it's just garbage. No, I- Freaking dead. If they still had these in here. Okay. I guess there isn't much. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Things are things are looking up. This is the girls' restroom. We're gonna pull a like this. Oh, you're in a place like this. I can't bring myself to go in. Dude. Oh, an eyeball. That's a, that's a, um, that's a, that, it starts with an H. Oh my god, what's it called? Hieroglyphic. I'm trying to figure out what it meant. I'm sorry. Okay, just a restroom. There's fish on the wall, so that's nice. A little touch of whimsy. Is that a giraffe? Do we have a closet? It's filled with lockers. It's for Hope's Peak students. Here before us. Class before hours. Let's use these lockers. I don't play mine for the locker. No way to get it open. I can open this locker. Oh, locked. Card reader is sold in the door. Here, yeah, the locker is open. After all, pretty similar to the card readers in the locker room, second floor of school. We have he handbook to open those. What does that mean? Let's just give it a try. From my handbook, it ran across the card reader. And then, no luck. None of the locker's owner could open it. And none of us can do it. Oh my god, this isn't what I want! Nice. Imagine any way to get the logger open. I don't even bother trying. Just 
try it. Yeah. I have a feeling this room is gonna be a dud. He boarded it up real quick, just be like, hey, don't. Don't look at that. Metal plate mounted to the locker. I think the locker's gonna open. Nice. I think I can open the locker. Can we open? I feel like we have to be able to open one of these. I should try to get the locker open. That's it? No! It's so hard to see. It has to be that. That's what I want to get to. But it's not letting me. Okay, I think I look around in here as much as I could. Doesn't feel like any of the students' room. Like an adult atmosphere. Correct. This is the headmaster's private room. Yoga. Indeed. I've been through this room several times already, but I still have one little regret. I decided to check it out one more time. A regret. The obviously fake wall. There's a gap in the wall. Look at its atmosphere. Secret destruction effect. Defect or something. So. There's a gap here. That's just any normal gap. I feel the breeze coming out. Indeed. Likely an open space on the other side of the wall. Open space, that mean? Hidden room. You might know how to open it. Know how to open it. Trick some kind of trick or something? Indeed. Very easy trick, yes. What is it? I'm not sure you can even call it a trick. No program on the PC. I think it controls it. What is the right password? The door should open up. However... I don't have a clue what the password word might what the password might be. And we know it's probably made up of letters and or numbers. Can't really go from there. Really enough it's to go true. Wrong. Who else paperwork? All the files on the PC. Everything I could think of. And more about him than I had any desire to. But nothing that might have been his password. <sighs> think about how many how much time I wasted on this. Correct. Correct. Just the regret I mentioned. Oh, the regret is how much time she wasted. This is home to a computer. It belonged to the headmaster. Nice. Used at last. Looks like they were very interested in the ultimate despair. PC still has some search results left on it. Might be able to get some info on the ultimate despair. However, not much though. Nothing we don't already know. In other words, ultimate despair is not one individual, but instead points to some kind of group. A group responsible for the tragedy, which happened one year ago. They're the worst sorts of people. The driving force comes from despair. However, and that's all there is. 
How much to it is there? Whew. But I guess that's the best he could do. As a complete Kirigiri failure. God damn, girl. But any information about the mastermind is helpful, right? Appreciate whatever info we can get our hands on. Correct. That's a good outlook to have. Nice. The ultimate despair has been entered to for a section of a handbook. I don't can I'm um want that actually sorry give me one sec jeez yeah I'm I'm feeling it There's a hidden room she can get into. How much do you want to bet that the password is going to be, um, like her name? We can assume this must be the kind of clue waiting in there. But wait for her. It's more to it than that. Anyway, we'll get through that. We need to figure out a password. Yoko can't figure out. There's no way I stand a chance. No, wait. There might be a chance. That's what could be. The Kyoko wouldn't have thought of. Maybe she didn't want to think of. For example... What about your name? What? Oh, sorry. I was just trying to think about what the password might be. I'm sure she hasn't really... Uh, I'm sure she hasn't tried it. But it's totally understandable. By the way she talked about her dad. The idea that he would use her name as a password. Oh here she is. I bet the idea never occurred to her. Um, do you mind if I try, just to be sure? Well? Not like you need my permission. If you want to try it, try it. Do whatever you want. Okay. Leave her alone. Okay, way to switch the orientation so I can't do it. No, what I thought of trying Kyoko's name. Got to read the rest. Hey, what about me, Makoto? Don't be. I already know you guessed it's wrong. Okay. In that case, you was nothing. Password. I myself and turn to face the monitor. Let me just type password here. Type your full name, Yoko Kirigiri. It's really tense, really trembling as I finish typing it. Get wrecked. What? That did it. Yoko, it worked. Why? Don't look at me. She disappeared into the hidden room. She looked grim. Yoko. Hey, girly. Oh, it's a picture of them. Oh, no. 
Because I know that hair. That's the Rocket Man. Hey, Kyoko. May as well not have even been in the room. It's fixed on only one thing. What's in the box? Present. Where did it it? Such joy. That's what made it so unusual. I check up on that fish present before I do anything. I have a covered box here. I totally out of place in here. Oh, look at it. The most suspicious I get. Do we open it? We can't bad vibe from it. I mean, you can't not open it. Okay. Makoto. Be careful, Makoto. Why? You think it's dangerous? No, not dangerous. Just the pricing, probably. Hmm. It would seem... It is what I think it is. At the very least. And that's something you'll be happy to see. Wait, so you know what's in there? Anyway... Just don't scream or anything, okay? It's gonna be the bones. The bones! I'm just gonna open it. Hope I have your step right the box. Take a deep breath. Take a hold the lid. Slowly. Ever so slowly. I lifted it up. That began to stick its way into the box. I can see the crack from here. Still has not glanced aside and... <gasps> His advice was no use. Not a trembling cry. Hi! What was in the box? Those bones. Human bones. I didn't expect to find such a bright, joyful box. I mean, who could have possibly imagined? I see. What did I thought? What? As you thought. Could you have known that? I mean, there were bones in there! Human bones! Wrong. Well, it's not that I was thinking of the most specifically. I just had a feeling it would be his body. Pretty much the same thing, a dead guy in a box. The funeral. My father. Hmm? What about him? Correct. What you found in the box? Those bones. That body. That's my father. Or at least what's left of him. Are you serious? This is Kyoko's dad? It's the same man she has been searching for. Hold on. How do you know that for sure? How do you know? It's him. So... You know the information we already know. It's the only possible answer. Is it the same person? Maybe there could be the mastermind who planned all this out. According to the files, the headmaster is the man in the late thirties. Who possibly would like me that he's sitting in the school right now? <laughs> and then we have the hint. Dr. Ego said so the headmaster was probably here in the school. The only ones who were alive at the start of the killing game. Us 16 students. Put those two ideas together. It doesn't take much to assume. In other words, that most likely my father was in the school. But he was also dead. It's for assumption, anyway. Yoko explained her analysis. She's completely calm. Oh, no, she wasn't calm. She was only trying to seem calm. She said it was just as she thought, but she knew it's a possibility. I have to believe that at some point, she wanted to be proven wrong. So why she never looked in the box herself? Even though she had plenty of chances. You know Kyoko says she wanted to see her father. She could cut it off all ties. But was that all there was to it? I gave up some of that pride. In order to enter Hope's Peak, I had to reveal myself in school. 
I did it knowing it was something a true Kirigiri detective would never do. Would she really give up her pride just for that? I know but wonder. Nice. In room prison. <laughs> the night is full of such a man. That's fucked. Picture. All faded. It must be old. Wait, is that the picture of? Ikyoko. Why would you? Well, this is annoying. You need to come myself free of the past. And yet. Why something like this? What are you supposed to do to now? And I was right. We should have Kyoko when she was a little girl. No way the headmaster had this picture all this time. That's who really cared about her. Why? Why? What? I want to face him telling myself. I'm out of my life for abandoning me. That's the whole reason I came here. And now he's abandoned me again. And this time, it was the only opportunity I had to move on. Sir. Ever been a worse father? Kyoko. You should have Kyoko and Headmaster. Added to, added to the truthful section of your handbook. Filing cabinet. That's not a filing cabinet. That is a dresser if I've ever seen one. Filing cabinet. Seems to have some. Oh, even like the kind of place you find a clue. Let's take a closer look. I don't think Kyoko would like. The stranger, like me touching your dad's stuff. Hey. It's fine. Take whatever you want. Be sure. Okay then. I went through each drawer one by one, started from the top. I left more piles and piles of unrelated documents. He was pretty dedicated to his job, huh? Well? Just because he didn't have anything else. He could have inherited our family business, our legacy. He said he left it all behind. Now, if... Couldn't even handle a job like this. It would have been that much more of a failure. Maybe I couldn't stand the thought of that. It made him desperate. The master's desk. Probably had not so got a clue. We won't check it out, but... I really want to touch Kyoko's dad's desk without our permission. Hey. Don't worry about me. Feel free to look around as much as you'd like. Are you because... sure? Never let anything get in the way of the investigation. I don't. Okay then, if you don't mind. But from the top, I opened all the desk drawers and looked inside. I rushed through each one, finding nothing but unrelated documents. In the last drawer. What's this? The new handbook, right? With a label on it that says, in case of an emergency. <laughs> Found some kind of mercy handbook in the headmaster's desk. In other words, a book with no limitations. Given the school's ultimate authority, the headmaster. I'm assuming that's what it is. I think you're probably right. It would seem. Might be useful as we continue the investigation. Why don't you hold on to it? But you'll go. I. I don't need it. If you don't want it? Go ahead and leave it here. Then I guess I'll take it. Is it really okay? Nice! The Master's E handbook has been added to the truthful section of your handbook. Hey. Listen, Makoto. Hmm? Can I ask you for a favor? <laughs> favor, what is it? So. I know it's completely unreasonable to ask you this. I know it'll only inconvenience you that much more, but. Hey. Could you leave? Hmm? Correct. Just for a little while, I just. need to be alone for a bit. Go, go. Don't worry, I'm fine. I need to calm down a little. Just a second. I need to get my emotions in order. You know, Kyoko. I remember before about a relationship you had with your dad. You're only connected by blood, not by heart and soul. But... Maybe the picture motivated him. Maybe he hoped to see me again someday. Is that what you were going to say? If so, it's just a theory. And this is an issue that can be settled with theories. The picture doesn't change the facts of what happened, what I went through. I... The problem can't be solved so easily. 
You're right. I'm anyway. sorry. Anyway. Once I've got myself under control, I'll return to the investigation immediately. So please, just give me some time to myself. Okay, I understand. And I'll see you later. Is she really okay? No, idiot! Kyoko. This would have been a complete shock to her. I mean, it's a shock to me. To find out what happened to the headmaster. There's no doubt the mastermind performed that evil deed. Killed the headmaster. Killed Kyoko's father. He killed him. That master's dead. The one leading the Hope Speaks staff? The one who finalized the plan to isolate you? It was Hope Speaks headmaster. So the same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. But according to the files, the headmaster is a man in the late 30s. It's possible, even likely, that he's sitting in the school right now. We were wrong about that. The headmaster wasn't the mastermind. And the mastermind's true identity is. <laughs> the head we now! 15 met in the... Ma in the mail hall. I didn't realize it was called the mail hall. I can book a road to the mix and you get 16. But to me, the six of us are still alive. And we're not dead. Even Mukuro. Even she. Undeniably, even she is undeniably dead. Most still alive are. Me. Yakuya. Hiro. Toko. Hina. And Kyoko. Only those six people are still alive. But then there's no question. Wait, no, that can't be. Just to believe it. There has to be some other way. I... There has to be a morgue in the school, right? For all the dead bodies. Because I... I will bet you physical dollars! I will bet you money! Have they just reused the body? Bet you money! So we, we need to find, like, a morgue? And then we can totally look at everything. It just has to be. Yeah, we can get into the lockers. Excuse me. Excuse me, pardon me. Pardon me, excuse me. Here we go. This is the handbook I found in the headmaster's pin room. Give it a try. Yep. That's what I was hoping for. What we got inside? If anything, there might be a clue. Nothing. If anything, that could be a clue. A wallet? A mini notebook? I think it's practically empty. Something. Look at a pocket book. I don't see a name written on it. I can't say for sure whose it is. I'm writing inside. That could be important. I like violating the owner's privacy, but I better take a look. Looks like girl's handwriting. The letters are spaced out evenly. Whoever wrote them was measuring them. Or this must have been really meticulous. Hmm? I looked around the pocketbook. But my hand froze when I got to a certain page. I saw something familiar written there. Words I'd heard before. There's a plan to turn Hope's Peak into a shelter. It's like the students here and their communal life. I decided to shock to the one who came up with the 
plan directly. So it happens to be the headmaster and my father. He's willing to give me some more details regarding the plan. Here's what he said. The point is to keep our student prodigies safe and keep them as our hope for the future. Only our genius. Only their genius can overcome disaster. Only their hope can overcome despair. For the future of the country. Our world. It's not exaggerated to call this our final hope. We must isolate our superior youth from the corrupt world. That was the foundation of a new era. It's the only hope we have. I hope that she will be willing to go along with this plan. That's what my father had to say to me. As usual, he made a selfish decision without consulting anyone. I can't imagine a worse father. You're a true kid. And I know it was. And I know exactly who the pocketbook belonged to. Kyoko. Can't be anyone else. This belongs to Kyoko. What was it doing in this locker? Well, she wrote here through the country text, but she already told me. That she hasn't seen her dad since he left when she was little. I talked to the one that came up with the plan directly. That was to be the headmaster and my father. What does it all mean? I finally scanned the remaining page of the notebook. I must have been looking for something that would prove me wrong about the whole thing. When I reached the last page, question marks spinning around my head. It started spinning that much faster. I looked at it. I the rest of the pocketbook. The writing here was messy, disorganized, squirreled. Very walks among us. If so, we survive. There's a second to spare. What is this? What does it mean? No idea. How does this possibly, how does this possibly make any sense? Locker pocketbook has been added to the youth philosophy the handbook. Well, this has been a gas. Um, I'm gonna look for something else. Maybe there's something else that's cute. It's Yasa Heroes! <laughs> Oh, I don't even need to question that one. Who could it be? We we all know. We all know. We don't have to question. Hawk is totally disorganized. He belongs to his probably looking at these two problems in every part of their life. Where's the ball? Where's the ball. No, it can't be. No way he ever used the locker. There's no way that's possible. Look at the textbooks and notebooks stacked up in no particular order. Dust everywhere. I have to assume whoever stuff this is didn't do a lot of studying. Not that I can really talk. I'm gonna act as casual and natural as possible. I took one of the notebooks I saw. The moment I looked inside of the notebook, in sense of easiness, I may have had evaporated. That's the hero Hagakure. What? No denying what I saw. Out of the notebook is written, as the hero Hagakure. Is that y our Yasuhiro? The notebook also contained a large number of notes for a variety of different classes. What do you mean? We have 10 classes here. But that can't be possible. I mean, Yasuhiro came to the school at the same time as the rest of us. When we were all sucked into this evil world, we never had a chance to take any classes. What is this notebook? Nice! Lock your notebook. I mean, I just pulled a section of your handbook. That's like playing cards. No, they're tarot cards. But wait, will they used to be telling fortunes? This is a coincidence, right? Yeah, I'm feeling the coincidence run up my spine right now. Alright, what else we got? The more I see, the less it makes sense. These are the lockers. And they had belonged to the previous students, right? Why am I seeing this? Why are there things in the lockers that look like they belong to people here? Look, they seem to belong to Hero. A pocketbook that seemed to belong to Kyoko. Some kind of explanation. But if I want to find that out, I need to keep moving the investigation forward. I don't believe in everyone. Alright. Okay, this might be a clue. Alright, that's it. 
That's it. Bye, Kyoko. Good luck with your dad. Oh yeah, the guitar is back. I think the whole first floor is open. Oh, that was just a sign. Was the second floor open? Wait, I have the paper. Fourth floor, fourth floor. Okay, I need to go to the fourth floor. Alright, I got you. I got you, dang it, Rumpa. I went the right way, because over here. The stairs are confusing. Alright, this is for the mark. Maze of a place. Alright, floor number four. We have a lot of things we need to go. The data lab, we already went to. Oh, the monocle face. Alright, Hi, Yuna. Hey, Makoto. Are you here to look around too? Is that what you're doing here? Mm. Yeah, I can't go wonder about that Monokuma door. Yeah! But I figured if all the doors in the school have been unlocked, that one should be open too, right? But... Hello, good thing I supposed to open it. I mean, you might explode, right? That would really suck. So you opened it. I guess she didn't mean it. She made it so like it was okay for me to get blown off. Okay, so I guess I'll open it. Ah! Uh, wait, let me take cover first. Nobody exploded. Anyways, over to a nearby desk and head in. Here. Okay, go ahead. It'll be okay, right? Hey, here goes nothing. So I'll wait for it. The door opened much easier than I expected. There's no explosion, thankfully. Or whose depression was. Huh? This place is totally sci-fi! I was kind of thinking the same thing. Is that they control Monokuma? Girl, what the hell? Huh? What is this device? It's Monokuma! There's some kind of control panel. Really over the top, though. Some kind of military installation or something. Hmm. It kind of looks like a mech cockpit, right? It could be would totally freak out if he saw it! Hogwarts? The Monokuma room. With the control panel that looks like some kind of cockpit. What okay. could it mean? I'm looking at it, or whatever. Maybe they're pushing buttons. Hold on. Can't just, or whatever, something like this. It is already too late. It was already jumping away at the control panel. Huh? Did you hear that? I think you from the other room. And what did you push? <laughs> I'm not totally sure, but. I think it was that one. The button that says data center. Data center. Take a look at the control panel. A bunch of buttons. Each with the name of the room next to it. Like Hina said, there's one little data, data center. That was the one she pushed. The data center. Right next door. We were just in. That's where the strange noises come from. Probably could check it out. Yeah! Yes, please! It's getting my mind right now, so I'll just keep you over here. Okay. Don't worry. 
cheer you on super loud. Wing over here. We can hatch on the floor. I feel like that's way more important than whatever that was, but okay. Let's just see what I think I heard. Is that Monokuma? Hey. Give me all your donuts! Is that you, Hina? Wah wah? What? Aw man, busted! How'd you know? Say what? Anyway, what is this? I kind of remote control camera that kind of set up? I don't even... Are you remote really controlling? Hello. Well, I mean... I can't really see anything from in here. Found it! Ooh! Guess what I found? It's a self-destruct button. Whatever you do, do not push it. Too bad! Aw, oh, man! Are you seriously gonna push it? Anyway, I guess that's settled it. There was a monocomber drawing on it. The control panel inside. Whoa! Hey, Makoto, what the heck is that just now? Monokuma. Huh? What do you mean? Look at what they told just now. It was Monokuma. Huh? Monokuma? Oh. What? For real? Yep. I say that panel definitely controls Monokuma. Is the mask by controlling Monokuma from this room. We're definitely in here. The mastermind has been controlling Monokuma from this room. The troll room is totally separate from the data center area with all the monitors. In other words. Hey. The rest of I can't monitor us and I can show Monokuma at the same time. Focus there was right. But... At the mastermind, I've been controlling Monokuma from here. I think they've been inside the school the whole time, right? I guess that's... would have to be true. Or if it is true. <laughs> oh my god! Shut up, please! This is like the seventh time! The mastermind, Monokuma's puppet here. It is 16th student. No, it can't be. No way, right? Nice! Monokuma control room has been empty's juice split section to hand off. Um... What's wrong with Kodo? I don't like the face you're making. Oh no, it's nothing. Okay. <laughs> For you, is everything okay? I mean... Oh, well, it's just... It's for the mastermind behind me, right? And there's this set of trap or anything. It's anything it's possible. But I hope um, it's not true. So, like, so, um. You wanna leave soon? I still have some other plates to check out. Yeah, good point. I was a lot of time standing around here. Okay, you wanna get going? Yeah. Um. Come, go to hurry up and get out of here. I can't explore anything with you. The door to the data center was closed. I heard a strange sound. What was that? <gasps> the door! It's just locked on its own! What? Shut up to grab the doorknob. You're right, it's locked, but why? <laughs> of course it's locked! Because the data center is now restricted! Monokuma! Just a second! Hey, no fair! You just go around restricting whatever you feel like. Hey! Um. It's for your benefit. Because if that room stays open, I will be able to move around. <laughs> Imagine how depressive it would be if the school math does just have to stop moving. I feel like they would rejoice in that room. Yep. As you may have guessed, that's where my controls are. Um, so right now you're being operated by someone in that room? Yes, indeed. Correct, Amundo. You're a liar. That doesn't make any sense. You were just in there. We didn't see anyone. <laughs> oh, you didn't, did you? Are you sure you were as thorough as you could have been? <laughs> Did you have to check a certain suspicious hatch? No way. Hatch on the floor. <laughs> Too bad. That was your one big chance and you blew it. Too bad. Of course, that hatch can't open from the outside anyway, so whatever. Hmm. Now then, the room is officially restricted, so no more investigating. I'll be relying on you guys to tell the others. Yeah! 
face. Um, he's gone, but so um, is he telling the truth? The master was hiding in here. In fact, if you think back to when we got locked out of the control room, that proves it for sure. Huh? Then I said we should leave. That couldn't be open from the outside anyway, right? It's not your fault. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, we don't have to let it get us down. We have to stay positive. Make the most of the time we have left. You're right. There's one thing I'm good at. It's keeping my body moving. Okay. Hey, okay. I'm gonna go run around and tell everyone what we found here. Nice. You got me all motivated again. You got it. Okay, I'm out. See you later. I took off in a full sprint. And I have to do what I can too. Feel the way forward. Okay, I want to invest. I think I already said this. I want to investigate all of the previously closed areas. And then. Maybe in the episode there. And next time we go back over the case areas? I don't know. I really don't know, because I don't think we're going to find anything different. Oh, the office was already open. My bad. Like, give, me, give me my dunce cap now. Oh, it's Biakia. This is the headmaster's room. I've heard an awful lot about it. This will be a first time seeing it for myself. Hm. Oh, Makoto, it's you. Oh, Biakia. Hey. <laughs> Well, you've come to the right place this time. Would you like to see something interesting? Not if it's with you! What do you mean, something interesting? Hmm. Take a look at this. This was on top of that pathetically... ostentatious desk. Class number 78, Secret Registry. Hmm. It contains profiles of all of us, and Mukuro. So, in other words... Apparently, class number 78 refers to us. Wait. And we found Mukuro's profile in Kyoko's room. I see. That's right. It also mentioned class number 78. This is where Kyoko got the page. This is the rest of our profiles listed here. Or listed here, in here, along with hers. In other words. There could be no doubt. Mukuro was a student here at Hope Street Academy, just like the rest of us. Mukuro Ikusawa, the 16th student. Lying somewhere hidden in the school. Must be how Kyoko learned about it. Hmm. But it seems that like Kyoko was in a hurry. What do you mean? Hmm. Talking about when she stole it. The uneven tearing. The way the paper had been crumpled. She must have been in a hurry. But she snuck in to get it. I'm sure she wanted to get her as fast as possible. What's your point? <laughs> She's in such a hurry. She's only on first page. First page? Hmm. Correct. Mukuro's profile actually contained two pages. What? So, in other words... When it comes to this profile... There was more information about Mukuro that we still don't have. What kind of information is it? Why do you ask me to explain every little thing? You can read, can't you? Not French. It seems to be some sort of detailed report put together by the headmaster himself. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what kind of man he was, but I'm glad he left us with such an interesting clue. What's half listening to Biafia as he came through the report. <clears throat> oh, her hair's kinda cute! Okay! I like that haircut. Sorry. The girl reappears suddenly. And... In the background and... Entity floats. Close, but just out of reach. Energy known as the ultimate despair. Right now, I can't be sure if this is a single person or some kind of group. Whatever it is, Mugoro definitely has some sort of connection to it. A bad feeling about all of this. I need to push forward with my research into the ultimate despair. I need to pay attention to Mugoro's behavior, too. It's just my gut feeling, but I think she's dangerous. 
but the countless battles she must have gone through as a member of Fenrir. Bandit Hope Speak. I didn't display any signs of battle wounds or scars. The fact alone proves her tremendous skill in battle. Naturally, I want to believe in her. She's one of my students, after all. But if I decide she's a danger to the other students, I'll be forced to take all reasonable measures. The girl was, was a part of the ultimate despair. But we know that. We already know that. I don't think there could be any doubt about it now. Wouldn't that mean Mukuro and the Mastermind were allies? So why? I would think he'll Mukuro. Plus, even the Headmaster seemed to be afraid of what Mukuro was capable of. No, it would have had to take her completely by surprise to kill her like that. Maybe that means the Mastermind is even stronger than Mukuro was. What? What's wrong, Makoto? <laughs> That's fine. Give me lost in thought. I should probably point out one other thing. There's another important bit of information within the file that you should note. What is it? Did you notice the picture in there? Picture of a girl perhaps you've never seen before. <laughs> yeah, you hear that. A girl who seems to be included as part of class number 78. That should be enough for you to figure out who the girl is. <laughs> And further information about the girls included in the file. 5'7, 97 pounds. And it even lists her vitals. 81, 22, 32. Don't know what that means. <laughs> well, what do you think? Oh, I think. Are you asking me like if she has a nice body? Stop talking. You, you hopeless idiot. I'm trying to tell you. It's maybe you'll want to keep that in mind for later. Maybe you'll make your way back to that corpse. And maybe you'll think, Oh, could that mean? What is he trying to say? The chance the body doesn't... Oh, isn't actually Mukuro? Is that what he's saying? Personally. What I'm thinking seems all but impossible. But it wouldn't hurt to confirm, right? It's all clear now. That's all I was trying to say. What you do with that information is your business. Back to being Byakuya's errand boy. Nice. Mugoro's profile has been added to the truth of the section of the handbook. Hmm. Oh, one last thing. Good advice from me to you, so I suggest you pay attention. Good advice from me? You've been getting along with Kyoko quite well. It's not like we're getting along, she's just done a lot to help me. Hmm. Well, don't put too much faith in her. In other hmm. words... Most of that faith might be more than you can afford. What are you saying? Huh. Just what I think. Follow the hunch. <laughs> hunch. I just tend to be proven right, except for every single time I've proven you wrong, you stupid dick. <laughs> <laughs> the advice is free this time. Take it or don't, as you will. I'll keep it in mind, thanks. There are trophies, and even a shield in that display case. Seem to be well made and filled with files and thick books. Back to scan all over the floor. It makes you feel anxious. Apparently, not thus. I was about me and everyone I met in the beginning of Mugoro. Who's a new student? The boy Uber saw part of the ultimate spare. It was her and the mastermind that should have been allies. But the mastermind tried to kill her. Headmasters, there's a monitor. The Headmasters, there's a surveillance camera. Alright, I'm out of here. Bye, Biapia. I want it. Um, is that a good one? Center, door with wonderful face, second floor, the Mukuro Garden and Dojo. I need to go to the bio lab. Hmm. The fourth floor should be done. I also need to find a morgue. 
well. Hey, speaking of more, why are there nine? No, wrong. That's wrong. There should be ten bodies, which means they reuse the body. What have I been saying? <laughs> Oh, you have to hero, get out of the way. I'm the clear <laughs> Well, here I am in the bio lab. So cold. Like abnormally cold. Look at my dark refrigerator. This why it's so cold. That tarp's here. I've seen a lot of me lately. So cold, why so cold in here? That's the first thing I need to figure out. Some kind of weird machine or something built for the wall. Upside a bunch of glowing blue lights. On the other side. Our bodies! I suppose he for the monitor. I just feel like the camera could work with how cold it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's sixteen total. I got a little machine going to the wall. It's a lot four. There's two kind of stuff in horror movies. We just want dead bodies. And the biolabs is actually more. I want to take a closer look around. I got a weird machine. Yes. Oh, the one's on the left. The right hand and the left are off. Who died is from this little room. There's some kind of football here. They have an instruction manual. We offer an equal friendly alternative set of dry ice for your cadaver needs. In addition to the Garam Edical Lamps, we also provide an ozone generator. The removal of ethylene gas. We insert the cadaver. The blue light will let you know that the automated systems have been activated. Temperature humidity levels will be adjusted automatically for optimal settings. With our system, anyone can keep body fresh as a daisy for as long as you need. The unlucky event of a problem, the red light will activate and the alarm will sound immediately. Exterior stainless steel, and we offer an Optional leather upholstery upgrade package. Ooh! This is the instruction manual for the fridge. I feel like we need to go back to leather upholstery. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, if we can get it. Please play to me now. I gotta make shift more. Of it. Nice. I love secrets, but I'm just full section of the handbook. There's lights in by each slot. So you set up so that when a slot is occupied, the blue light comes on. Which would mean. Inside each spot lit up in blue. Then another one of the victims in. Nice. For a lab light to add to the full section of your handbook. I'm in the to kill me right now. Only one thing I could do for everyone who's dead was to get the mastermind. With that, I need to continue my investigation. I have no other option. There are nine! <laughs> I am fucking screaming at my screen! It's nine! <laughs> it's wrong! It would need to be ten! Oh my god. These bitches, they put dead bodies in. I mean, everyone who's dead is. Their own little room. I'm so irritated. 
I don't know why we're not looking at how many lights there are. It's bothering me. I'm in the area. Here, look back in. What's going on in those two places? Um. Hmm? Gone. Look at his body. Not here. Oh, the blast is, though. We know where the body is, though. Those four chickens left. I hope we can't have if there are more than them. That body is not a tool shed. I know where it is. Not in here. Could be in the bio lab. Corpses aren't the only thing you need to check in. One other thing. That tarp. I played a key roll in the case, so we take a look at it. Maybe it's time to keep the sprinklers from getting the body wet. The killer might have left some clue behind here. I didn't notice it before. A little stamp in the in one corner of the tarp. The bio lab. This originally came from the bio lab. Idiot. Tarp. <laughs> it's an end in full section of your handbook. <laughs> it's cool. Does that mean it came from it? Shut up! God! That's all I really need to check here. It bothers me so much. So, oh, so much. Alright. What you got, girly? Oh, hi, Toko! Oh, Toko. This is where you are. What do you want? Oh, so it's disgusting you want me out of the new site. I felt like that. I mean, we found the clue. But haven't. See if we find anything. Of oh, one single clue. <laughs> Maybe since this place was related to the case, we would have to have something, right? But there wasn't anything out of the ordinary here. <laughs> we are back. Give me back my precious time! Come down, Toko. What's your problem? It's so rude of me to come down. In my tiny hands! <laughs> have any idea what I'm going through right now? Never find that. I'm gonna call you useless. Good for nothing. I was gonna say that. <laughs> Master Wu. He's gonna do that anyway. I'm not sure I can disagree with that. <laughs> I don't want that. It's like a fall of whisping down. Oh, if anyone accept me. But the will, I, I don't think there are any clues here, so maybe we're gonna get going. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and just, just take the locker, you know? Bunch of wind lockers. Better go in here, but it was just the last one to take the Kyoko. Alright, well, uh, thank you, Toko, for your time. What? Um, this is a school announcement. Is everyone working hard? Is your investigation coming along nicely? Well then, since you're all giving it your best, your generous headmaster will give you a little hint. <laughs> For those of you who are interested, please make your way to the gym ASA possible. Now he wants to give us a hint? But she's no doubt that it's a trap. Didn't even know that. Go to the gym, right? Oh wow, we are just at the gym, okay. Yes, a hero! Oh hey, hero. <laughs> oh, Makoto! Why are you actually surprised? Uh, um... No, no reason. I heard Monica's announcement, right? Oh, you heard Monica's announcement, right? I'm here to find out what he has to say. <sighs> I... I just did, actually. I'm on my way out. What did he talk to him? What did he say? 
Listen, sorry, but I... Uh, I gotta go. Hero, wait. No point trying to stop him. He ran off like a frightened animal. Bro? Like he was trying to avoid me. I haven't talked to him about the notebook I found in the locker. i hiding something this whole time. Oh, it's just me. Hey, girly pop, how you doing? I am Monokuma! Hello, welcome, welcome, hello. Are you ready for your final hint? I just so happen to be in the envelope on the ground in front of you. Envelope. Whoa, 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 whoa. Must be that envelope. And just so you know, I won't be answering any questions about what you find inside. What? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, just get on with it. I was almost ripped up worms. I didn't feel any better when I picked up the envelope and opened it. What I found was a single photograph. They're fully covering Junko's face. We are not in the photo. Celeste is not happy. Neither is Toko. But it looks like... Everyone is here, except for us. But why would they hide her face? Also, her hair accessories are different. You should watch your face so I recognize immediately. How is everyone who came to help speak at the same time as me? Wait, what? There's someone behind Sayaka. The other one I don't recognize. Her haircut is so cute! Shut up! <laughs> God, I love her hair. That's not true, I do recognize her. That's why Byakui and I were in the headmaster's room. I look left eye on. Mukuro Ikusawa. Then this girl is. What? Why? Why is Mukuro here with everyone else? I mean, more than that. I think everyone would poison like that is weird enough by itself. I'm telling you, it's the amnesia thing that happened to Kyoko. They're all wearing matching uniforms. I don't remember anything like that. And now that I'm looking at it, it's not even everyone. I'm not in the picture. I'm the only one who's not there. The picture has 15 other students, but not me. I guess that makes sense. After all, I don't remember even ever taking a picture like this. I went to junior high with Sayaka. First time I met everyone else. I never have to host Academy. It was natural for me not to be in the picture. It was definitely unnatural that everyone else is in the picture. Even though everyone was like me and didn't know each other until they all got here. But if this picture is real, what could that mean? Could be everyone else and just me? Everyone here except me is. <laughs> How long are you gonna keep this rambling soliloquy of yours, Hamlet? What are you gonna do? It kinda get in the in the way he's standing there, you know? Hmm. So I mean get out. But I told you I'm not fielding any questions. Unbelievable. What kind of mystery would this be if I gave you all the answers? I'd be totally out of left field. I guess he's done talking. Damn it. Who photo the address added to the truthful section of your handbook? Can I get back to what I was doing? So in the end, all I found at the gym is even more confusion. That confusion in hand, I left the gym dejected. How does that count as a hint? It just made me even more confused. Is that what Monokuma was going for? 
They put together fake photos, excuse me. It looks so real. A full life. How could anyone fake that? What do you mean everyone but me? Maybe we should just ask everyone directly. I should clear all this up. I have to clear all this up. I'm not! <laughs> I have something I want to do! Oh my god, this game! I was finally making progress. And now I have to stop making progress. Yes, a hero, get over here. Guitar is great, though. Here we go. I have any reason to want to go inside. Literally? Literally. Oh, the dining hall. Okay. Don't tell me where he's gonna be and then tell me don't go there actually because he's not gonna be there anymore. Oh, but good luck. Where you've been hiding. Listen, I was hoping to talk to you. Oh. But go go! Sorry, gotta go! What? You went off so fast, they didn't have them to ask her to stop. You know, why? Why don't you talk to me? Because you planted the seed of doubt like you wanted. Alright, where's everyone else? Hey, do you have to do this four more times? <laughs> No. I just get a fast travel. I feel like walking. In the archive. Ooh. This would be in the archive. Yakuya. Listen, I think we can talk. Yakuya? That's enough. I have nothing to talk to you about. Don't talk to me as if we're friends. And Yakuya, wait. Of course he didn't. He just walked away. Why is he acting like that? He was purposely trying to avoid me. He always does that. He's a dick. Garden, where the bio lab is where I've been trying to go. <laughs> Come on. Gonna run away from me too. Hey, hero. <laughs> Makoto. What's wrong with you? Every time I see you, you freak out like that. Um... No, I... Uh, no! Sorry, but I'm in a big hurry. Again, he ran off a terrified rabbit. What is going on? I wasn't able to talk to him about the notebook I found. He was avoiding me. He was afraid of me. Why? Toko. Toko, Toko, Toko! I decided to visit the bio lab one more time. First thing I saw when I got there was. That was her passed out again. Doko. So cool for that. Oh, she was trying to investigate. Poor thing. Doko, you okay? Oh no, she's not dead. She is she? <laughs> it's cold, super cold, it's so cold. I thought you were to catch a cold. Take a nap place like this. I'm sure you will. I see. Mm, as I sleep. Oh, I was faint again. Uh -huh. You were just sitting there, so happy. You're all excited, weren't you? No, I was not. Have you reached that certain age? Yeah. So why'd you pass her? 
Now, now, remember? Was me waking up just now? What'd you do to Miss Morouse? Oh, that's right. Your memory stops and starts every time you switch. <laughs> Bingo, bazinga! Which is a basic knowledge, but our memories are very much that right. SOP! It doesn't seem like it's a bad thing. It's a blessing, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Even if she could forget something, I totally remember. It's like double the memory. It's more like half. Nice. This is Jackson memories, but added to the true school section of your handbook. Didn't it always have been there? Huh? But all I want to know right now is, where's my little darling? Are we now? Slate your throat. I don't know. Could be Akira's around somewhere. You guys want investigating? Mm, yes, yes. By himself? I assume so. Oh, I'm on fire! I knew it. I totally knew it. I'm a pro when it comes to all things, master. <laughs> anyway, I gotta hurry. I can't even imagine how lonely he must be right now. <laughs> Toko shut off. Hear your laughter echoing behind her. I sort of forgot about her. Oh, to ask her about the picture. No point in asking Genocide Jack anyway. There's more important things to do right now. Why did Toko faint? There's some reason for it. The fucking cadaver, idiot! Bridge is open. I'm sure they were all shut tight last time I was here. This is why she passed out. Right. She faints so easily. Yoko. Makoto. Getting late, isn't it? Are you okay? Indeed. Sorry if I made you worry. No, you don't have to apologize. Listen. Listen about this room. Oh yeah, it's... It would seem... It's a morgue. Yeah. I knew it. I suspected as much. Toko decided... I must have looked inside of the fridge. It was there and... Well, there you have it. You knew she fainted. Indeed. I was on my way here when Genocide Jack came running past me. I assume she must have sneezed. As I got inside, the room even became clear. It would seem... Why did she come here to investigate? When she opened the slot there. That's when she saw the body inside and dropped like a bag of rocks. Why does everything got to be so difficult with her? Anyway... We should close it up. We don't want to leave it hanging open like that. Not a good Mikado. idea. Give me a hand with this. Here we'll push the fridge. If I stretched, at least she stopped. Look wrong. Listen. Maybe we should wait a second before closing it. Oh, come. The Mugoro's body is in here. I knew it! Knew it! In my... in my noodle... Mugoro's corpse. Where are the bodies inside the fridge? I see. Just like every other time, the mastermind probably brought it up here while we were in the class trial. The mastermind did it. Because they assumed we wouldn't be doing a class trial over again, I guess. So. Maybe right. Either way, I can finally get a good look at the body. That's right, Kyoko didn't get a chance to check the body during the last investigation. Makoto. I need to do my own examination with the corpse as soon as possible. I'm gonna find a clue this time. And I'm going to grab the mastermind by the tail. Yeah, so what should I do? So then. Why don't you just get over there? I'll let you know as soon as I'm finished. Went over there, that's it. Um, okay. Lovely parks this evening. The same one I found in the garden, the tool shed. I remember at that time, I had a stamp on it that said Biolab. <laughs> Biolab! How much been used to help camouflage the murder in the garden? At that point, someone got it from the bio. from the Biolab. Look it over there. Nice. I'm going to be updating the truthful section of my handbook. I've already looked through the instruction manual, importantly. On the left side of the fridge, a bunch of blue lights on. But these ones aren't on. I see the blue light comes on when the floor is occupied. So when someone's in there, the blue light comes on. Here are the number of lights. Never let on, including the doors. All nine of them. Nine. Nine. Our love life has been updated. Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> it's been bothering me so much. Oh my god. Are you done?
Very cute group with the photo. Oh gosh, she's in the two. Don't let me interrupt your investigation. I don't want to talk to you about something. What is it? What they enough from Akuma made earlier. <sighs> Anyone with the hint or something? I didn't take him up on the offer. Hmm? Why not? Because... The only reason he gives the hint at this point is to confuse us all to cloud our judgment. So things you're my own. Without whatever hints we have to offer. That's a good point. I guess she can go back and do the same thing. What was that have done, I guess? Standing here looking at her. I don't think she's hiding anything from me. Is she right? And the mastermind forced that photo just as a trap to confuse us? That'd be it. So the explanation. Ooh. Okay, Makoto, I'm done. Already? Jeez, that was fast. Indeed. Anyone can do good work if they go slow. And that spirit. I'll make my report brief. <laughs> Did you find anything? Indeed. I paid careful attention to the wounds and the traces of blood. It was highly likely that. The stomach wound and the blood at the back of the head were reflected after death. Really? The burnt tissue made things a little difficult, but completely confident in my findings. That means neither of those with fatal injury. I am. I am telling you. I am telling you. I am telling you. <laughs> I know. I know these things. My. My noodle is fully cooked. It is al dente. I was. I knew. I was aware. So what was the fatal injury? Did the explosion the victim's identity is unknown. However, depth before the blast. Which was stabbed a single time with the knife. That went completely through the body. I was struck in the head with an object as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered in other wounds. But these were at least several days old. The only option is that those other wounds. Plus, they were old. Is that right? I just say that they're old. Because. Oh, my cool file says that they were inflicted at least several days ago. I guess I don't see the difference. Wrong. Well, the difference is immense, considering the impression they give. Listen. You need to be equating several days old. You're simply old. However, it doesn't quite follow logically. All the wounds. It could sound like they've been there forever. Like they're not related to the murder. Are you saying they are? But all we got. Uh, we all got the Monokuma file. Right after she was killed, right? No, we didn't. We never got Jungos. If the wounds were at least a few days old, no way they. They couldn't have anything to do with it. So then. But what if the girl herself was killed within the last few days? What? At the very least. And the can allow it as one of many possibilities, can't you? One of many? Right. The detective doesn't have supernatural powers. No way to predict the answer from the beginning. Instead, to create ideal detective... Oh, it's there. The ideal detective begins by imagining the many possible scenarios the can. In other words... I envision the possibilities without prejudice, without bias, losing their logic and common sense. Then, as they investigate, they test what they find against each of these possibilities. <laughs> of course, me telling you this doesn't mean you'll be any good at detective work. But beyond using that to solve a particular mystery, you should keep it in mind for the future. Joko's account has been added to the usual search in the handbook. Hey! If there's anything else you would like to know about the condition of the body, now's the time. But to think of it, there was one thing. Earlier, I was looking at Mukuro's profile. Let's her height and weight. So... 5'7", 97 pounds, vitals, 31, 22, 32. Did I get that right? Do you remember all that? They were indeed consistent with the corpse. So then... Indeed. They didn't forget about the Fenrir tattoo. There's absolutely no mistake. Indeed. Victim in this case, without a doubt, Mukuro Iwasawa. Mukuro Iwasawa's profile has been updated. The truthful section of your handbook. And? That's all you wanted to ask. Yeah, I think so. So then... Still secure enough for the business in, with Mukuro's body. Get going. Kinda chilly in here. Oh wait, we're not gonna put the body back? I just think it's kinda sad leaving it out like that. Why? Sad. We forget she was our enemy once. Part of the ultimate despair. 
Pachi, so I kill so for pay. Pay for the price you will put yourself. We have still. Ooh, you really are naive. You know that. You're the part appalling. You could have abandoned me. You decided to help me instead. Someone like that. What does it mean to be naive? So then, I think we've done all we can do here. Get to a separate investigations, yes? Uh, hold on. I have one more thing to do. We need to talk to Kyoko about. I need to ask her about the pocketbook I found in the locker. We're gonna do it now. I kind of forgot about that, actually. Hey, Kyoko. I do have one last thing. I know I shouldn't, but I feel like I have to ask. What? Go ahead, then. Out with it. I've never really not seen your dad. Even once since you were here. What? So... What do you mean? Well, do you know about the lockers on the second floor of the dorms? Indeed. I do, yes. To get into the lockers, you need the handbook of whoever the locker belonged to. Actually, I managed to get them open using the emergency handbook. I see. We found the headmaster's hidden room. And? Did you find anything worthwhile in the lockers? Or in a pocketbook, after looking through it. I think it might be your pocketbook. Why is that? You should say that. Because... Like I said, only the locker's owner should be able to open... Or should be able to get into the locker, right? I can imagine those lockers belong to any of us. After all, we only got access to that area just recently. What I'm saying is there's no way we could have had access to any of those lockers. If I did have any kind of pocketbook, why would I bother putting in a locker? Everything you just said makes perfect sense. But there was something written inside. What the headmaster about your father? What? If that's true... That video... is real too? The video? Makoto. I think everything's finally starting to fit together to reveal the recent picture. Though I'm afraid that picture might be worse than anything we could have imagined. What are you talking I... about? I need to go investigate the lockers right now. From what you've said with my own two eyes. Look through the headmaster's handbook. That way you can... So... That won't be necessary. I'm right about this. Could be I shouldn't have any problem opening the locker with my own handbook. After all, it seems that it's my locker. Your locker. Makoto. If you watch this, it'll all make sense. DVD. And it says plus number 78 urgent interviews. So in the hidden room after you left. Anyway. I don't have time to explain exactly what I think it means. Watch and see for yourself. I think you'll realize exactly what it means. I understand why you found my pocketbook in a place that none of us have ever seen before. None of this is making sense right now. I guess that means there's some important clue on the DVD. Nice. Give your DVD as the actual truth full section of your handbook. Makoto. Oh, now it's my turn. Have a second to listen to me ramble. Ramble. In other words. As it turns out, the range that I've made is in stick. I mean is, I'm less and less sure of everything, and my own feelings. I about your dad, right? I can never find the answers to the questions I wanted to ask the rest of my life. Not because of the mastermind. However, there's one thing I am sure of. Because of the mastermind, there's no room in my heart for forgiveness. I... So we'll destroy the mastermind. It's just one more reason to follow through on it. Keep his eyes to burn with the fire of determination. To defeat the mastermind. Hmm. It's strange. I could find him with his death. I only really feel this way. I couldn't care less about my father. Oh, couldn't care less if my father had found happiness. Why? But why is it? Why does it bother me so much to know how he suffered? It's ridiculous. There's no understanding it, I guess. The out a small laugh as she said it. The smile was full of sorrow. Whew. Well, that's it for my rambling. Still so much to do before I can consider my task complete. Yeah, right. Hey. But keep this in mind. There's only ever one absolute truth. Whether that serves justice or suffering. Whether it's the greatest truth or the worst. What do you mean? Makoto. I mean, the truth you uncover is filled with hopelessness. You still can't give up hope. Absolutely not, because... Well, I could do to keep moving forward. Pretty much all I'm good at, you know? <laughs> Indeed. Sorry, 
That was strange. So then. Anyway, we need to get going. Let's see with the class trial. Even behind that final farewell, Kyoko was gone. I'm going myself. Got a DVD from Kyoko. Let's check out the AV room to check it out. This said something about the hopeless truth. No matter what happens, I won't lose hope. This is the worst truth in the world. I can't afford to lose. No, I'm scared to put trouble. I've gotten lazy. Okay, who's in here? Oh, no one. Okay. Oh, uh, first floor hallway. Yes. Wrong way. Mm, which one do I go to? This is one. Um, probably play DVD just fine. Well then, we're going to take a look. It's right behind me, isn't it? Look at the DVD Kyoko gave me. And put it into the player. Then it was flying, but nothing appeared on screen. I stared into the blink monitor. It's been only for a few seconds. It may feel like an eternity. And then all of a sudden, an image appeared. Eka. Saka. It could be a total surprise. Since they are good, who knows how long? She okay, was. then. Are you ready to begin? What I heard was a man positioned on one the side, on the side of the screen. There's a voice in the middle-aged man. I do apologize, but I hope you don't mind if I record our conversation. I'm a little slow, you know. I never really got the hang of taking notes while having a conversation. Like he was trying to make a joke. Like a sense face didn't move a single millimeter. So this video is meant to serve as a kind of contract substitute. It's not that I don't trust you guys. It's more like insurance. So please don't worry too much. Now then, let me get straight to the point. There is a chance that you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Uh, um, you what me? Oh, what voice did I give her? Are we to accept that? Saka was obviously at a total loss. It made total sense. We would agree to spend the rest of her life in the school. That. What? Thank you. And I'm sorry about all this. Well, I can promise you that I will do everything in my power to keep you safe. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, I give you my word. This is one cue for the video cut out. There's a lot I hadn't understood up till now. But this, only this. I couldn't comprehend what I heard. Because I know how much Saika wanted to get out of here. I know how much she wanted to escape and pursue her dreams with her friends again. Oh, that's so bad. She tried to frame me for murder. But why? I should say yes to living the rest of her life here. Another thing about it, I noticed a sudden light. On the monitor, the video I thought was finished flashed back on screen. I started back to the screen. I was confused before, but I saw a nice push me right over the edge. Aw. Thought that was me. Impossibly undeniably. So me. Makoto, before we begin, I should let you know that I'll be recording our conversation. Yes. In the headmaster we're looking at each other. Me and him were having what seemed like a fairly normal conversation. I. I am here now. Absolutely no memory of it. No memory of even meeting the headmaster. Let's sit and dad talk to him now, about this. Shall we get straight to the point, Makoto? There's a chance you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Yes. This can't be real. I said I'm yes. I'm sorry I'm putting you through all this. Well, I mean, you don't have much of a choice, do you? But I promise that as long as you're in this school, 
I will do everything I can to protect you. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, that's the very least I can do for you. Once again, the video cut out. What in the same home? Then the video repeated the same scene again and again with the others. Yafia. Hilko. Hina. Everyone. Also, they agreed to live in school forever. And then... Yoko. Maybe you with him if were reported just clearly. But I doubt she had met him. That turned the headmaster of Speak Academy, her father. He asked her the question, if the same as everyone else. She accepted the life within the school. Yoko's interview was wrapping up. The monitor suddenly went black. Huh? This is the monitor. The DVD player itself had apparently turned off. And of course, the DVD wasn't playing anymore. What the heck just happened? Say what? Oopsie, looks like it broke. Out of service. What? This will happen to break right now. Too bad. Well then, when does it matter? Oh, now, then, when does it matter? I think it's strike anywhere, anytime. <laughs> As a failure is, right? Really, my ass. You got the power on purpose. Whatever. I think I watched the whole thing. It'd just be more of the same. Ask them the question. They won't say yes. I put on myself. I let a huge exasperated sigh. But as I did, I remember something. That's right. I finished too. When I woke up, I had strange feelings of separation within myself, a disconnection. It would seem. Thinking back on it now, at that point my memory was gone. At the time I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to the school. And I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what would make you forget all that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? I can imagine what happened by chance. It's too much too convenient. Minute the outcome. I think that's team that was the work in favor of the mastermind. What does that mean? I lost my memory too? But the others? Have we all forgotten? Or Oh, it's update. Maybe DVD have an update. It's just for the section of the handbook. Ding dong bing bong. For anything that has a start, there has to be an end. And if the end comes, then that means it's time for a fresh start. There is no night that doesn't have a dawn. Although that dawn is totally pitch black, there is no storm that won't eventually end. Of course, then that leads to drought. But as I said, every end is the promise of a new beginning. Which is why I'm sure we'll get to meet again. Because the end is only the beginning. Anyway, let's get started. The beginning of the end of the class trial. Everyone gather once again at you know where. <laughs> So we have to begin again. Class trial is going to start. The final class trial. The final trial. Sorry. The last time, all our lives will be on the line. Last time, hope and despair are on the line. I have a choice. I have to do this. Okay, then. This is the end. Up, two, three, four. Here we go, baby. Yes, I'm the first one this time. Makoto. You're early, Makoto. Listen. I mean, you feel prepared. Yeah, for now at least. Is everyone else? Why aren't they here yet? However, don't worry. I'm sure they'll be here soon. Just like she said. Yakuya. Yeah, Yakuya. Yeah, they arrived one after another. I had the same state of shock. I feel like shock is not the right word. You know? Hero? Well, you can never know what's going through Yasuhiro says, so it could be shock. It could just be him short-circuiting. We don't know. Silence. And it wasn't any normal silence. The deafening silence of fear and suspicion. 
It was like first class trial. You called for me, and so I appear. I'm late. Oh, I'm on fire. Chong Sound Master is wonderful. Yes. Now listen, it'll be just fun to leave it to me. Hi. With my scissor sharp scissors in hand, I'll stab and go to shoot the master of evil. But I thought you couldn't kill anyone but adorable little boys. <laughs> if it's what master wants, you could be a boy, girl, or anything in between. I can handle it. Mm -hmm. Where am I? Ooh. No human life can describe the disappointment I'm feeling right now. <laughs> <laughs> Is everyone here? Ooh, and we're gonna glue me Gus faces, I see. Well now. Well then, let's begin. Trails, chills, kills! This final class trial is gonna be slathered in pitch black despair. Fly maximum sorrow. That's fine. You're right. This is the final class trial. And this time it'll be fair. This time! Blender! I'm a fair and good standing, you know. Unbelievable. If there were Mr. Fair Guy Juniper's contest, I'd take home the tiara every year. I'm gonna win this game super fair and square. Today, I'm feeling white. And I'll make sure everyone watching at home knows that despair is mightier than the hope. Stop talking. Get up your teeth, Trivial. Begin this trial already. <laughs> sure, sure. Let's begin the trial already. I'll bring it for you down below. Hey, guys. But don't try to run away. <laughs> I'm as loud as ever. Want to come and disappear. <laughs> Whatever. In the name of my family. It'll be over in no time. An inexplicable level of confidence. Piakia was the first to enter the elevator. And by when the others followed. <laughs> Nobody made eye contact. Nobody said a word. They just appeared into the elevator. Hey. They're all acting odd. They're paranoid, suspicious of each other. However. But you know why that is, don't you? Yeah, I think so. However. Well, you can tell us all about it soon. The class trial. You're right, I'm ready. So. Ready to win, right? Of course. <laughs> Glad to hear you say that. And then Kyoko was aboard the elevator. Well, this is lonely. Don't think we wish for the opening. The best step with the gaping maw. I resolved that this would be the last time. I repeated to myself that there was no fear, no mystery left. I pushed the anxiety down, on my trembling body, and finally on steady legs. I passed the threshold and stood in the elevator. That seems familiar. That morning, it began to descend. Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper, deeper still. Deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper it fell. How are your feet not cold, Yasuhiro? Close my eyes. Inside fell away. All sound too disappeared. Alone in the universe, I waited for the elevator doors to open for the last time. Could have been seconds or centuries later. With the gentle vibration of the elevator coming to a stop, I slowly opened my eyes. This is the final trial site? I kinda like it. What do you think? And the perfect background for deciding a person's fate. It's a long way to last stage. The always exciting final boss battle! <laughs> and I'm gonna sit in on this one. I'm just sitting right here in the vacant 16th seat. Trails, chills, kills! Well then, let's begin! I feel like you need a stool. You're a little too short. I would love to save here, thank you. Months in the making. The mastermind stands exposed and must pay for their crimes. Now all that's left is the looming mystery of Hope's Peak Academy itself. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna do this first because I didn't want to work last time. The influence gauge by five. By five. This is time limit for each stage. Don't need that. That is the aim. I do need that. What is this? Your truth bullet rate of fire. I think I might need that. This is the argument. The three statements are less. What is voice? The damage and the appointment when the statement is destroyed. I kind of need all of this. Oh, focus and influ- Oh! I'm gonna go for this one. Oh yeah. And then actually had time to prepare! Like the last class trial. I'm gonna end this episode here. It is very lengthy. But we are in it to win it now. So anyway, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will see you later.